Hello, everybody! Welcome to the That's How We Roll channel! Tonight, Misfits of Alsetta, your favorite actual play show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much oh, for being this? here. This is a D&D 5e actual play, and all the lovely players you see before you are playing level 9 characters. But before we get to know them, we have an announcement with Lee. Over to Lee. Oh, hello. Um, do you enjoy being idle? but still having things happen? Well, then do I have a game for you? It's Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms. It's all Forgotten Realms uh, D&D things. You can play as all your favorite characters, like Minsk and Boo, you got Yadritz, and there's a person on this stream who's in the game. That's Hope Lavelle, and that's Penelope Halfpint. Now, if you want a free Electrum chest. All you have to do is uncover the secrets of where you put a chest code in. <laughs> then you'll type in Tori Bowl Fro. Once again, that's Tori Bowl Fro. And you'll get that chest and you'll get all kinds of great items. And while I'm here, I'm also Lee Goldberg. And I'm Goldberg337 on all of the socials. I am a pancake artist. If you've seen really cool D&D pancake art, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> but while we're here, I play as David, the Circle of Stars druid, who, despite all odds, still very bad at animals. April, you're back in number I'm two. I'm number two! Yeah! Hi, everyone. I'm April. She, they, you can find me on the internet as April Ray Gun. And tonight, I'm going to be playing Nira, who I always find. I don't know why I said for tonight. Uh, I'm playing Nira, your little kobold bard. <gasps> Motherfucker has Capri Suns! Sorry, I'm so sorry. That, that wow. was fucking, <laughs> you are amazing. Hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is Jacob Flick. Duel King Jacob all over the internet. See him pronouns. Uh, DM a Duel and Dragons and co founder of the Amphitheater. And as per usual, tonight I'll be playing Koto Tarius and Kizera Horizon Walker Ranger. He him pronouns. Let's shoot somebody new tonight. Hell yeah. <laughs> Kia ora. I'm Daniel Denova, um, also known as Daniel Denova, on the internet, as well as Tartan Kiwi. You can find me uh, on the Twitter or the numeral number at 10 place, um, or in various other places under those things. I play San Leon, who is a vampire, barbarian, rogue. Um, he is. Uh, he's have things are happening. He, him, for him, and uh, just anything for me, really, uh, pronouns wise. Uh, I am an illustrator and also a voice actor for video games and such. Yes. Amazing. Hello, everybody. I am Danny. My pronouns are she, her, and I play Silva, the Fire Genasi Warlock uh, of this campaign. I've cast my first spell. Her pronouns are she, her. Uh, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll cast another spell tonight. I don't know. Just for you, April. I would love you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am Damien coming to you from Down Under. Um, my pronouns are he, him. And I'm playing Reginald Bellagamba. Um, Aladrin Rune Knight slash Paladin. And... I shall also do the acknowledgements of country today. So I begin today by acknowledging the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, uh, traditional custodians of the land on which I am playing from today, and pay my respects to the elders past and present. We have Daniel from Aotearoa, the land of the Maori people. And from North America, we have people from the lands of the Fernandino Tataviam, Hohokam, Tumakua Creek and Cherokee. And we pay our respects to all Indigenous peoples all over the world. Hope, I believe you might have an introduction to do now? Yes! Hello, I am Hope Lavelle, uh, the Dungeon Master for this evening. And I'd love to introduce our special guest for the evening, Mr. Michael Coleman, if you want to give him an introduction. Coleman. Yay! Waka, waka, waka! <laughs> waka, waka, waka! Where's <laughs> Fonzie? Hi, I'm Mr. Coleman. Uh, I'm also a him, and uh, oh, I had something witty to say. I totally forgot what it was. <laughs> I'm just Perfect. a pawn in the game of life that hope <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm also a sometimes voice actor, uh, although I keep trying to retire. It's not working. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, mainly just uh, hanging out, doing nothing, wandering into people's shows, uh, leaving it worse than when I came. 
And I'm so excited. Do that here. <laughs> Was that? I don't think you could do that here. You're, you're, oh, we'll you fit in perfectly so far. It's true. <laughs> we, uh, this is probably an aside. We used to do a show uh, in LA called Dungeon Master for like 15 years. And uh, what we do is we rehearse a show, we plan everything out, then we bring an audience, and then six of them can come up on stage. Uh, you know, we're like, we need a party. And how about, and, you know, if you put your name in, you get to be on stage. And they then proceed to ruin everything that we rehearsed. Uh, so I, I did well, this. Just, <laughs> just yes, D&D &D then. Got it. Just D&D. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. D &D. <laughs> uh, Coleman can be found on the Attackers of Opportunity podcast. It's a really great show that maybe I used to be on, but I'm not anymore. But it's, it's a really that. great one. Uh, he plays a really fun character. Um, and uh, yeah. with that all said, I think... We can get our intro going and get started. Thank you, everybody, Hope for being here. Let's go. Sound. Okay, a recap, here we go. Last episode, we found our misfits in the desert of Anorak, in Faerun, a plane they've been to once before, but never like this. They traveled through the desert for many hours and in the heat of uh, the day where the sun seemed to never want to set. And they found themselves coming across a woman named Itani, who led them through a very bad dust storm, uh, and all of during which she, as a truth bringer, sought out people's truth. So everyone kind of fell into a desert trance, and she helped them find what really is their true truth. And uh, through that, we learned a lot about the characters and everyone came out on the other side, renewed. Um, Itani then just, and Itani then gave you guys a blue diamond to Kotatar, saying, I am an ally and I will be there when you call for me. And then everyone climbed the mountain uh, of the Death Mount Mountains, a very high, a dangerous climb but they made it to the top and when they got there they could see infinite forest ahead of them out of the desert finally and that is where we're going to start with the climb down of the mountain you guys are currently on top of the mountain the sun is setting behind you giving everything a nice warm glow uh, and yeah what would you like to do Um, I think Kotar sort of like, as they begin to sort of climb down, he's sort of, you know, about 10, 15 feet ahead of everybody. Once again, sort of as like going up, making like extra, um, almost like pickaxe style, like holes for folks to grab, grab onto on the way down, um, with the exception of San Leon, who will probably just walk down, um, or, or Nira, who will fly down. Um, Nira is just like with pace of Kotar, not, not faster, just like, you, you good, buddy? You good? <laughs> And Dave is just dangling from his Drinking vine. Tea. <laughs> What's so, in the tea? Oh, good. Uh, uh, wa uh, water, uh, sugar, a little bit of milk of oats, um, and some dried up leaves on the ground. <laughs> tea. Oh. Just regular tea. I see. Yes. <laughs> Nira's because... now tea conscious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just goes back to work. <laughs> Things are David. I I know I'm not him as a sin, but my tea's not bad. 
It's a bed! What? Your tea's not bad. Uh, you hear sand calling from somewhere. I've had it before. Remember we were doing that music jam session? It was good. Thank you. you dirt leaves? No, that... Well, that's what tea we were, is. Well, actually, when we were back at the house, that was actual tea that I probably stole from someone's kitchen. This is dirt leaves. But I wouldn't mind trying some. <laughs> Here and now floats down to San Leon and just gives you a cup. I'm just, like, walking, you know, 90 degrees. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is going to be difficult. It does, like, a crunch <laughs> <sort of laughs> <laughs> while walking. <laughs> With a coffee. Oh, hold on. Uh, Nira puts a little straw in it for you. <laughs> oh, a Capri San. <laughs> oh. Oh. That, that, that's, that's, the, that's the type of leaves I thought you're right. <laughs> <laughs> have a very distinguished palette. Oh I God. rolled a nat one on my wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Put off. off of the map. Yes. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> as we're going down, mm -hmm. as we're going down into who knows what, can I take a look to see what? Like, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, give me a perception check. Going. Ooh, 25. Uh... Um, as you guys are descending, David is actually the first to notice there are cobwebs on the rocks now. As you get further and further down, the, the rocks get a little more sticky. And there, as you, the, you'll see, the forest almost comes directly up to the base of the mountain. Uh, you're seeing tons of cobwebs. Hmm. Uh, I think... I think we're in spider territory now. I don't like this. Yeah, that's fun. Are they it bigger per... than... Are the cobwebs bigger than the ones we saw in the Feywild? They are roughly the same. Hmm. <laughs> Did able, are we able to avoid them as we go down? Yeah, sure. That, that's that's okay. not a problem. It's just you... you you are seeing more and more of that. And as you get closer to the treetops, you actually notice that there are uh, cobwebs kind of covering the top of the canopy of the trees. Gotcha. And as Would you get closer to the bottom, uh, it's getting dark. Would, um, would my sunblade do anything to these cobwebs? You can try. All right. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't think you should touch them. Seeing Sally on Ranger is so. I don't. When, when you touch them, it vibrate and they feel the vibrations. Um, I was just thinking it might burn through. That's but, how. All right. Oh, and yeah, then, then, then it'll then make them angry broken. too. That, that's that's how they know it's broken. It's that's how spiders feel food. Um, Very well. We dealt with angry spiders before, but I will not do that. Just be stealthy. my sword. Yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. Oh, stealth, I suppose. I believe right. since time is of the essence, I think Nero is spot on in this occasion. No, you're right, you're right. Thank you. Can I make a stealth check? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys going to try to go into this forest stealthily? Um, Is my bow lit up? No. In you guys haven't entered. You, you're at the base of the mountain, right. I, I would say, at this point. Um, no, your bow is not lit up yet. I mean, yeah, let's just go. We're, we're wasting more time just talking about it than if we actually just go. Can we just go? Dan's already in there. I feel like this is like a, a, a walk and climb down. Or a, yeah. a talk and climb. Totally. Are you coming? You hear from, uh, closer to the... So is there, given the direction Live. we're heading, is this the... Is there any way to go around it, or is this... Straight through. You see the forest just goes on and on and on in all directions except for this <laughs> mountain. Well, I don't think we have much choice. Let's go through. But be on your guard. Okay. At least we have experience fighting spiders, so tactics should come in handy from previous battles. We do, unless they are different types of spiders, but uh, some of it will hold down, I suppose. Hmm. Was our tactic last time? Kill Shoot them. them. Beat them. And also win. Beat them. Okay, okay, okay. I was just making sure. I was just making sure. Lots of, you know, area affecting stuff. 
we would use. And spread out so to avoid webs being shot and us all being restrained. Hopefully less invisible this uh, ones this time. That's right, they were invisible spiders. So we yeah. enter the forest. <laughs> yeah, to the forest. Oh yeah, we're walking forward. You this guys enter into the forest. You guys finally enter into this forest and immediately <laughs> it is dark and there are cobwebs everywhere and it's going to be a little bit of a slow go. Um as soon as it the sort of the lights go out so is anyone going to get upset again if I put a torch up? I just hand you one of the glowstones. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Okay. So most of you have dark vision, and Kotatar is going to use one of the luminescent uh, uh, rocks that yeah. he got from the dungeon. Yep. Yep. That I pull okay. out of my bag of holding. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, you're so whoop, whoop. Cool. I have one. Um, you guys begin to make your way carefully, um, trying to dodge all of the the, the cobwebs, Ooh. Ooh. kind of big. <laughs> um, give me perception checks. Sure. Uh, yes, perception. I'm going to roll really well on this. Um, yep. Low no. for me. Uh, oh, what am I rolling? That 20. Ooh, 17. Uh, perception. 21. Everybody did really well. Seventeen. Oh, an eight. Oh, the one. It's oh, wow. <laughs> so much time. You said it Mine too early. Because. <laughs> um, so, Sneera, as you guys are going, you are the first to notice that there is something reaching over Silva's shoulder. Mm-hmm. Kotatar, your bow goes off. Stranger, 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 stranger! I cannot be surprised. Cannot be surprised, and you are not surprised. For Oz, Uh, spiders start to, giant spiders start to come out of the woodworks. I draw a sun blade. to surround you. Good God. Roll initiative. Draw a dagger. Initiative. It is a silly place. Um, 25. I'll take it. Oh yeah, let me write this down. <laughs> been a little bit. It's fine. It has been good <laughs> what, since we fought. What did you roll, Daniel? A one to get that twenty-five? I rolled a yeah. little. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so coming around, Damien, or sorry, Reginald. Seven. Okay, uh, David. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's me. I'm fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, Sen. 25. 25. Okay, Kotatar. 17. Uh, Silva. 15. 15. And Nira. 21. 21. Damn, Nira's on fire. Yeah, I don't want to be higher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bard. I don't want to You want to be reactionary. <laughs> yes. These spiders are large, and they come out. And there's something you notice. They are transparent. Hmm. San Leon, you're up first. Um, as I'm just walking forward, um, sort of roughly around the front, because I think I was one of the first into the forest, um, my ear just kind of pricks as I look back. Uh, and as I see something reaching uh, to silver, I just draw... God, it's almost fucking Jedi style. The sun blade and just turn around and just rush. Um, sort of uh, sprinting toward uh, the creature, and I say, Silver Duck! Um, as I'm taking a swing. Okay. Um, and I'm raging. Bonus action, rage. So sure. you see his eyes... By the way, because it's dark, you see his eyes slightly change colour. Ooh. Um, they go from a yellow to a slightly more orange hue. Um, right. Take a swing. I, I believe I can take a swing. Is that all right? Yeah. You, yeah, take your. You can try. <laughs> Permission granted. <laughs> I'm just being sure. Like, we're not, I'm not too far away. I'm not too. You know. You know no, you're so. fine. Okay. Um, okay. And it's reckless because. Yes. Okay. Uh, Twenty-six to hit. That hits. Okay. Um, Derp, 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 derp. 
Oh, yes, bludgeoning damage. But I do have this. Which was alright. Okay, okay, alright. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, plus two, so ten. So 23 points of radiant damage. 23 points of radiant damage. You notice that as you go to swing, this ghost, uh, <laughs> this ghost spider, uh, phases through your hit and takes half damage. Mm. Uh, Nira, you're up. Uh, shit, phase spiders? Um, is that... when you say big, how big and how many? They are medium size, and there's six of them. Uh, so they are they're many, bigger than you. How many fit in a ten foot radius sphere? Two. Theoretically. <laughs> let me get it. Hold on. Let me see if I can find a bigger sphere. <laughs> uh, I think we need a bigger boat. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to play a bar. Uh, I'm honestly like, yes, yeah, Silva, Silva. That's not true. Duck, 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 and I'm gonna cast Shatter at the two behind Silva. Okay. I just, I just imagine Silva ducking in the night, just starting to duck, look. I'm going oh, again. <laughs> I was gonna say, if someone says goose, I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, right. They need to make a con save of 17. Okay. All right. Uh, they fail. Okay. Then they take. Uh, that's not great. Eight points of uh, shatter damage. That's shadow damage. Nice. Eight? That's it? Yeah, I didn't roll well. Wow. Okay. I am not happy either. As you cast <laughs> shatter, the uh, these spiders just sh vibrate with the shatter resistance energy, and they sort of phase in and out. They still take the damage. Okay. Um, uh, and then for my mm -hmm. bonus action... Uh, I'm gonna, uh, when I, I'm gonna kind of combine this, uh, with, uh, stranger, 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 uh, and cast, uh, my mantle and inspiration so everyone in the party gets eight temporary hit points. Ooh. Nice. -y. You love to see it. You love to see it. Um, and, uh, you can immediately use your reaction to move up to its speed if you want to without provoking opportunity attacks. Uh, nice. I will move back. Uh, on your turn. turn. Okay, oh, you said, I thought you said we could immediately use our reaction. Oh, immediately, yeah. Each yes. creature can yeah. immediately use its reaction it's to move up to its speed without provoking right. opportunity to have. Okay. Which is why yep. it's a good so. one for the first round. Yeah. Very I'll good. move to the back. Okay. Back in the back. Don't come back. I will time. duck and <laughs> run away just like Wait. five feet, ten feet. Okay. Yeah, everyone Okay, everyone will get it, and then I'm going to just shoot up in the air. Okay. Um, the feet. canopy is only this really <laughs> thick... Forest canopy will only get you about 10 feet. Maybe, maybe Can I 15. go up 10, 15 feet. Okay, 15 feet. Right until feet I'm not touching it, just so I'm out of their way. Yep. Okay. All right, Coach, I tell you up. All right. Um, a uh, familiar sort of uh, spectral uh, force energy begins to surround his bow as he uses his uh, planar warrior ability uh, bonus action to give us that lovely force damage. Um, and then he just uh, moves over to like w the. One sort of that hasn't that sand didn't hit, so that's right next to it. Uh, that's you know near near Silva and fires two arrows into it. All right. Um, first attack, twenty-seven to hit. Nope. Hits more than that, um, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, mm. and um, a twenty-nine to hit. Hits. All right. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. that's gonna be. Eleven. Uh, 16 points of force damage and uh, 11 points of uh, magical piercing damage. So a total of 27. 27. Yep. You guys, see, this is all for one creature, right? Correct. You guys see this, this, this uh, phasing spider take those hits, vibrate, and collapse to the ground. And you see one down. And uh, he's just going to try straight to the next one. Um, let's see. That's action. Um, I'm going to stay where I'm at. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, that's me. As he says that, 
that one that collapsed dead vibrates and resurrects. No. Fun. That's fun. Uh, I love <laughs> it. Never I re- mind. I reject this. The Danny Silva. Light, light do anything. As in yeah, light, the radiant light. light. light no. Like, uh, no, no light. Not, not seemingly no, any no different. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so I'm ducking uh, and uh-huh. rolling with my reaction to like stand up and and okay. point at it and go, "Whoa! Did you just see that?" Uh, and uh, we're gonna do a true strike on it. Ah, okay. No one ever uses this, but I'm okay. going to try it. Um, so I'll just have advantage on my first attack roll next turn. Okay. Cool. That's it. That's all you do. Yeah. Okay. All right, David, you're up. Uh, David, seeing this all happen, uh, steps back and links his fingers together, and then he pulls them set like apart, and you just see like kind of this warp, like kind of this warping field that looks almost like a web like in itself, and he slaps it up and it shatters like glass up into the sky about 40 feet, and you can see through this like this like shatter a moon that does not belong here and a beam of moonlight strikes down on the spider that resurrected would they count as a shape changing no okay then i need a con 17 uh i need a con 17 save Fails. Well, let's call that 2d10 radiant. Okay. And so it's going to take 11 dermage. Okay. And I don't... Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it there. I'm done. Uh, As you do this, the... Uh, you see the spider start to phase in and out, and then as a reaction, pff, disappears. And reappears. Ten feet away. Anything else? That was okay, it? and just so you know that that beam of light is still going down into yep. that area. If anything enters it, okay, they're gonna hurt. Okay. Alright, Reginald. Is there two spiders close together that have not been attacked? And uh, yeah, yes, uh, within there, there ten... are. Okay, I'm gonna look around the ground. This is for flavor, really. Just pick up a couple of small, maybe two small critters that are dead, maybe a couple of rats or something. Okay. And I'm and I'm going to face that right next to these two spiders, just to kind of throw the two critters in front of them and then just try to charm them so like this is this is food and um they must both make a wisdom save or they'll be charmed for one minute what's the save it, they got a 17 15 uh, 15 that was 17 for one and a 16 for the other what was it 15 yeah god damn it okay. that was cool too it was <sighs> really cool <sighs> <sighs> um one of them I distract, and he has to roll again. Uh, okay. Sorry, Barb's. All right. Let's oh, do it. Hey, that, that, I love that, you, Nira. Welcome all right, back. That was that was a nat twenty. Oh, oh, no. No. All right, it's gonna be to that kind better. of day. <laughs> Don't forget to give an advantage. We always forget oh, yeah. that part. Who's next? Uh, um, next will be. Well, that was just my bonus attack, so. Yeah, but the next person will be San Leon. Cool. San, you get it. Okay, go ahead, Reginald. Um, I'll just do... God, damn it, they're strong. I'll just use my dagger, I think, because I'm getting... <coughs> Can I go on the front line, just whoever's being attacked, I guess? Um, yeah, nobody's being attacked yet. I'll just go to the one that's closest to somebody else and attack them with my... Take a defensive position and attack them twice. With my probably dagger. still okay. silver, I would imagine. Yeah, probably. probably in front of silver. Uh, so it's dirty 20 to hit. Yep. Um, second attack is uh, another dirty 20 to hit. So nice. Okay. We'll do two sorts of damage. So that's nine damage. Nine. And seven damage. Nine. 16. 
16. Hmm. All right, uh, this creature phases as you hit it and shudders and is still standing. Anything else? That's, that's it. All right. These spiders are starting to swarm around you. They almost start to do this phasing dance. This one that had just resurrected is kind of biting. It's got its little, um, I don't know, what do you call those? Mandibles. Animals, yeah, they got those. <laughs> big shark kind of like, teeth. Yeah, big shark teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're starting to enclose on you, surround you as they phase kind of in and out of existence, these ghost spiders. Uh, and they are about to do some work. Uh, I need oh, everyone to, to make, <laughs> I need everyone to make uh, strength saving throws. Oh, I'm sorry, hang on. Do I need to make one? Uh, hang on, I, yeah, everyone, oh, uh, no, you're up. You're up. Okay. So everyone else, uh, strength saving throw. Okay. Oh, cool. DC, DC 16. That one. And that one. Oh, God. Oh. Damn it. Nine. Okay. Nine. Oh. Nine. 19 on the die for 19. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, that was a day. <laughs> So Silva, while ducking and weaving and rolling and has the true strike, she's she's like on her feet, ready to go. She dodges out of the way as all of these spiders at once spit web out of their mouths and everyone who failed. So it's Reginald, uh, Kotatar. San Leon, you got, what did you get? I rolled with advantage and I got two, like a two on the dice. Oh my um, God. So I got a nine. Damn. So everyone except for Silva and or Mira. Uh, David, what did you get? 19. You're fine, too. Uh, David, it goes yeah, right over you. <laughs> uh, you are all now uh, restrained. Lovely. As, as this what? web just hits you. You guys see these creatures now start to move forward, reeling back, ready to attack. But it is now Caliban's turn. Caliban, no. please describe your character Very as he comes well, out of the well. woods. Surprise! <laughs> He's the bad guy. They're my spiders, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know, these, these guys tend to attack anything they see, so I don't... Uh, <laughs> uh, you see just a dark cloaked, very large, like he, he eats a lot of protein. Um, and very pale, uh, with a, like a Amish beard coming out, uh, of the woods, just with a little bit of backlighting, so he's nice and dark, very dramatically, and holds up a hand that's also, like, extremely pale. All right. What would you like to do for your turn? Oh, I'm going to cast, it has a name. On another monitor. <laughs> I love that. Ivard's black tentacles. Ooh. Oh, great call. Ooh. All right. Nice. Uh, nice. Describe what these do. Erupting out of the ground, just black, smoky tentacles. Um, hopefully, uh, grab all of the spiders and hold them in place. You guys notice? Uh, is this like a save or anything? Oh, uh, right. Um. No, it just works. Yeah, it just works. <laughs> no. It, uh, <laughs> he's a guest. It's, a, he's, it's just a really cool intro. It has to work. It has <laughs> the work. dexterity it's saving cute. throw. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm going to do back. one for all of them. Uh, pff, they failed. These oh. spiders, you think, as they phase in and out of existence, almost ghost like, they are wrapped up with these shadowy black tentacles and they are struggling. And you notice that there's a hint of like a, well, describe your necrotic energy. <laughs> black and smoky. Okay. This yeah. black and smoky uh, energy starts to fill 
the inside of all of these spiders and they start to vibrate and in an instant they all disperse oh wow all of them they are all gone they Hello, have moved man. on yeah exactly okay uh yes and you are out of initiative god oh, spider who are you god, that was so nope. tough Oh, my boot came off. My boot came off in the spider web. You're welcome. I think. You're welcome. That I'm certainly on. That was you, Mr. Um... Uh, Caliban. C oh, Caliban. Caliban. Um, I'm Reginald Belagamba. Um, I'll allow my do? companions to introduce themselves. But that—that that was you who saved us. Yes. Well. I was saving the spiders, but it works saving, out. Saving the spiders from... They needed to move on, but they had lost their way. So I helped them cross to the other side. Hmm. Huh. Some sort uh, of reaper. Something. It's a hot. Kodotar uh, is still struggling against the web. Just, mm -hmm. Is he all right? And you see him disappear and reappear five feet away. Nice. Never mind. That's better. Uh, with the, with um, the sunblade, I'm just going to cut through um, in an arc the webs uh, frustratedly. Mm -hmm. um, to get they kind of burn and... away as you cut through yeah. them. I'm going to get my big sword out and cut, cut the webs. Okay. I, I don't mean to be rude, but is that yours? And he just points to the moonbeam. Still going. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I um, think so. Could you turn that off, please? Uh, yeah. So he'll like reach <laughs> into like nothingness, but you'll feel like he's pulling like that, and he'll like close his fingers, and just the glass. You'll hear like crackling glass as the viewing glass closes. It was wise to use that. That's how I knew that. I was needed. You should hurry. They don't often stay gone for long, I've noticed. If you'd like, you could come back to my home and have some tea. More tea. Uh, do you, they love tea. Do you just answer every You're aware of it. Do, What's that? Do you just come, do you just answer every bright signal in the forest? Ha, ha. No, I was hoping it like, would like be... Some... Spider, you. man, symbol, I don't know. A beacon? You were hoping it would be us, so that means... Not you in particular, but us? someone of your ilk. ilk. I am in need of assistance. Insight check? Yeah. Well, what am uh, I? Us? So, uh... <laughs> Is there... Do, uh... Are you sus? <laughs> yeah, do an insight check against, uh... Uh, Caliban, do a, uh... I, I rolled a six. I don't okay. know. Yeah, come on. External. Um, Hold on. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, it's not really deception. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do something a little different. Um, okay. Uh, Caliban... I'm going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I fired the arrow. Um, it's a little different. It is it's different. Um, you see this, like, you know, jaundiced face, like, almost like yellow, yellowish skin, and... and hold gray eyes that are just studying you um wordlessly um uh it's a 26 on insight i got a dirty 20 for my charisma okay uh so he wins what uh are you trying to figure out kotatar um combination of a couple of things Tr just Getting a general read on whether he's trustworthy or not, um, and then like as he's doing that, so do you live in these dangerous forests by yourself? No, I live in the village nearby. I see. Unfortunately, I am the only one who lives in the village. I will explain all if you will just. Come with me, or we could stand out here in the woods and wait for the spiders to return. It's uh, your decision. 
I'm completely for not waiting in the forest. Let's just let's. Uh, Kosatar, if he tries something, I uh, you can do what you do. But for now, those spiders are terrifying. I'm <laughs> for going out of here. Uh, uh, we can, we can walk and talk. Kotatar, what you get from your insight is that Caliban might be a little lonely, but he needs <laughs> He needs hugs. But oh, he means well. You don't get any sense of ill intent. He's trying so hard not to be like... Friends! <laughs> he's been uh, alone too long, yeah, so he's a little over. socially awkward. Uh, yes. it, he'll nod at, nod at David, and as uh, they start walking, do you dream? Tell are, me, do you dream? Are you, <laughs> are you talking to me? Yes, you. Uh, I I suppose I had dreams, but I had to come home to take care of my mother. And I, I, I planned to, of course, go back out and uh, become a, a great necromancer. Yeah. While you sleep. I mean, specifically. Well, no, I mean, you have to really work at it. You can't just uh, sit back and... <laughs> and I like this one. Oh. <laughs> Kozatar's nightmare made manifest. <laughs> Wonderful. There is like a... There is this like... You know what? Like you kind of like growl by accident and like and you kind of like... Like the, like the base of it kind of comes out by accident. It's just like, not another one. <laughs> not like this. Do you also have dreams? Aspirations of the highest kind. Oh? And what were those? Yes. But of course, it's best discussed over a nice cup of tea. Ah. I have many leaves to choose from. Are they dirty? (laughs) (laughs) What? No, I mean, well, I mean, I can't really wash them because if you, you know, apply water to them too early, you might lose some of the. I see. Yes, but you, uh, they're as dirty as plants can be. Have you had tea before? Plenty of times. Oh, okay. Is it often dirty? <laughs> Go to our flex. No. <laughs> it's not often dirty. Not a Only oh. a few times. <laughs> I. I see. Ah, perhaps you take me for a um, lower class dirt farmer. I don't take you for anything so far, other than uh, you are it, strangely it's, pale it's and you seem to enjoy tea, which seems to be some it, sort of. It's okay, Nira. Your tea was fine. I, I did. I picked up. I I had dirt leaves. They they were on the ground. They were they were dirty. But I put in oh, the tea. They see. were fine. So I think uh, it's just judging. he's a little. It, it was the last tea, and it's my fault. It's not you. This is this is totally uh, not a you thing. Oh. I'm sorry. Person right. Is still on so that the was ballot, duff though. tea, was it? What? Duff tea. Uh, I know. We have arrived, Hi, Mr. Caliban. <laughs> <laughs> we have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> You all begin the escort quest. That's the escort quest. So you the two, guys... we have arrived. <laughs> Being at your destination. You guys seem to walk through this forest uh, quite following Caliban's steps. He knows the area really well, so you don't feel like you're in any danger of stepping off trail or anything. If there is a trail, it's really hard to see, but he seems to know it. I'm looking um, at you while I'm just turning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you guys, is you see that it opens up, and you see you guys in a city, not a city, sorry, a village. There oh, are good. straw-roofed homes. There is a moderate farmland. There is a, a main street that is mostly just a place where there's a well for water, and just uh, homes, just very moderate, very. Um, what's the word? Humble homes. Nothing here is is grandiose. It's just what you would find as like a farm land village. But it is eerily quiet. There is no I'm, one around. I'm just gonna. Why is it empty? Why is it empty, Caliban? Please come inside my home. I will explain everything. 
I'm just going to quickly sure. sidle up to Nira okay. and whisper, I know we haven't had much luck meeting new people, and they tend to turn out not what they are. So you are wise to be cautious. Um, let us both be on our guard. I know I looked him over. He seems pretty okay. What's that? <laughs> Thank you for showing us to your home. Why is there nobody else here? There, it, you're not going to kill us inside, right? Just, I I'm, know I'm we, looking... we've already gone through this, but like we got to ask one more time. It's a strange person's house. Caliban's sort I'm... of looking at the stars. It's supposed and to be quiet, but yes. Looking around and just sort of, uh, it's, it's really best that we get inside. Is there danger out here? Not Let's yet. just go inside. No. <laughs> he seems... No, go inside. <laughs> I just want to thoughts. Up. I got a couple Detect steps. Thoughts. <laughs> yeah, I'll go in. Okay, we're all going in. So Never mind. Oh, let's go to the strange man's house. <laughs> <laughs> why? Near at the end, like, why do we just keep jumping in the hole without looking? <laughs> we need to keep jumping in the hole. We said look we a hole. We can it. jump in it. <laughs> Caliban, please describe the inside of your home. Please excuse the mess. It is my mother's home. It's got, you know, paintings of me as a child. It's very embarrassing. It's <laughs> got some knitting over in the corner, um, a, a table that's well made, candles that look like they've burned for too long and are pretty much toast by now. Um, it, it looks like it should have been nice, but somebody has not been upkeeping for a while. Um, and, you know, random talismans. Um, a degree here and there from necromancy school. Ah, yeah. Um, <laughs> after, after after coming from Sackville, Reginald's like, you have a lovely home here. Thank you. It is not mine. Well, it is my childhood home. I would choose to decorate it differently. I'm sorry. I'm, are you, I'm talking are you, Does that mean you're squatting here? No, no, no. This is my mother's home. As I mentioned, she... Oh. She's getting on in her years, and so I took a sabbatical to mm. take care of her. But, oh, but you said not you were the here, only. Though. You said you were the only one here. Yeah, that that part. Y yeah. Yes. The door. Hold on. He goes and he just sort of bolts. The door. <laughs> there was, yeah. There's like slowly <laughs> the backing way, towards the door again. And just as a note, um, Kotar would have insisted on being the last person inside the house. Okay, Code Tatar, give me a perception check. Um, whilst that's happening as well, I'm going to start subtly checking for things to see if this is indeed a dream or not. Okay, how would you like to do that? I'm going to look for inconsistencies. I'm going to look for... Uh, I just saw someone take out a ton of spiders by themselves, uh, and San went, ah, people in their own dreams are able to do things that others cannot. Easily. Okay. Give me an investigation check. Kotatar, what uh, did you get? 32. You see God. <laughs> <laughs> Stab <laughs> Harmon? <laughs> you see Mr. Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> I got a damn hey! three. I'm your so, God. Um, Kotatar, as you are going in, you take one last look around at this, this desolate, complete, complete ghost town. Uh, and you see through the night sky, which is nice and clear, the sun is nowhere to be seen. Mm -hmm. And you think you see just the hint of a fog. Mm -hmm. But everything else seems okay. Your bow is not going off. Yeah, and, and he, he won't like try to block you from like dead bolting it if you don't want to, but he's standing at the door. Uh, pardon me. I, if I could, I just, maybe just a bit, if you could. Oh, you go right ahead. I think I'll just reach around. That's fine. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, San Leon, everything here feels solid. There is no weirdness to anything going on other than what you may perceive as this as being a very weird situation, but uh, it feels real. Certainly would. Uh, interesting. 
David? David, like, does even raise his hand. Look, Mr. Caliban, you don't know us. You're correct. We don't really know you. And, um, we've been burnt before. So please just let us know what's going on here. How can we help? How how can... Well, you seem trustworthy. Well, maybe not him. Are you undead? And he looks at uh, Danlia. <laughs> what? Undead? Well, that imply I'd have to be dead in the first place at some point. I don't think I'm undead. No, no, I'm not undead. Why? No, 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 no. I, I could ask you the same question. It Your is true. Certainly I quite. Um, mm-hmm. I study a lot. I spend a lot of time in the basement reading. Ah. Uh, well, I, uh, as you can see by my degree, I graduated from necromancy school. Not. <laughs> hmm. Do you like fantasy books? Uh, <laughs> Dungeon Matt, do we know what ranking that necromancy school is? Is it like a top five, or is it like a, a like a, a community college of necromancy? <laughs> yeah, the Ivy yeah. necromancy schools, of course. <laughs> Believe it or not, it is a very high-ranking necromancy okay. school. University of Phoenix. Okay. University of the Phoenix. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, everyone. <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> and that's game. Uh, yes, well, I am region certified. I, well, I don't know. Apparently, you have not heard of me. I'm I'm a bit of a big deal amongst <clears throat> necromancy circles. I um, uh-huh. specialize in, uh, as you noticed, carrying spirits on to the next life. I um I walk up to to Mr. Caliban and say, "Well, just to put your mind at ease about Saint Leon." I have an easy way to tell if he's undead or not. And I just kind of shake my hand and glows and I cast Divine Sense. Okay, and, and Divine Sense gives you pretty much faith, faith fiend, celestial. It undead. gives me celestial fiend and undead. So I'm trying to see if Mr. Caliban is undead exactly. as well. <laughs> <laughs> nothing pings. See, nothing. So <laughs> I'm just a fan. <laughs> yeah, so just like fan. Bauhaus. Sorry. Dungeon Master. It is Caliban actually well known? Like, have I heard of him? You've never been to Faerun. He okay. may be really well known to Faerun, but you wouldn't know that. Okay. Uh, whether if he is or not. Are not where we're from. Yeah, exactly. You've never heard of him. <laughs> I don't like to brag, but I. What was the question? <laughs> I was going to know he's heard of you. What are we? What do you need from us? Where is your mother and everyone yes. else? That is the problem. Uh, as I said, I specialize in moving spirits onto the next life when they have lingered too long. Uh, you might know them as ghosts or wraiths, uh, what have you. Um, unfortunately, those spirits in my old village. They, hmm, I can't seem to get it to work. I can't, hmm, I'm embarrassed to say, they keep coming back. Is there something tying them here? Some form of um, latent energy or perhaps an object or objects? I believe I need an object is my current thinking. I have a focus. It is a pitchfork. Uh, an old heirloom of my family's that I carry with me, and I use it to, as I say, help focus. And I'm thinking maybe, maybe it's related to that. Uh, If I had that in my possession, I could probably have stronger, more concentrated power. The problem is I can't get very far. I left it out in the field amongst the haystacks. Boom, boom. There is a huge knock at the Uh, door. Oh no. And I imagine the reason you bolted the door and that you hastily got us indoors was because the spirits that you are trying to move on are a little violent. They're unhappy and Mm -hmm. many. They don't so much bother me, but I'm unable to really move. 
They swarm me whenever I get to. Have you tried to engage the services of a cleric? There's nobody uh, here, no. Reginald. This is... I'm embarrassed, as I said. I've been trying to handle this myself. And I only just recently thought maybe I should find some help. Are you clerics? No. Sir. No. Uh, well, Why does no one ever have a cleric? How did, because <laughs> a why class. would we want that? That's That would be silly. Uh, how did everybody in the town all die and become ghosts at the same time? That question. There may have been... I feel like you get like one at a time, not a town at a time. I believe they may have been murdered by a demon from another realm. Something I've never seen before. With a purplish glow. Very strange. To this purplish glow, was there anything else? You know, possibly eyes like mine or something similar? Yellow? Yes. Long, dark hair. Uh, uh, no. Well, it for some reason it will not hurt me, but it is preventing me from getting my focus. So I thought maybe you could do me a small favor since I saved you from the spiders. So a favor for a favor then. Boom! 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 <sighs> Are we doing it now or later? He, kind of he like? uh, Kotar is still up against the door, so like every time it hits, like it's kind of like almost like he's getting like shoulder yeah. checked a little bit. Yeah. You, you actually, <laughs> the you actually feel a hand on your shoulder. It's cold to the touch, and as you look at it, it is completely transparent, but it glows of a purple energy. He yeah, yeah, yeah. about faces from the door, <laughs> uh, hand on a, on a short sword. I don't know how they'll react to you. They may be aggressive. Is my bow glowing? It is. And all these spirits start to phase through the wall, coming at Caliban. Release uh. us. You did this. You did this. A sweeping strike with uh, the sun. Yeah, light. yeah. Like in response, at, at the same time, the at ghosts. the same time, at the ghost. The like, ghost of the Taliban. He did this. He, yeah, he did this. <laughs> at at that statement, um, he's looking at his bow. I think I know how they're going to respond to us, and he swings bow short swords behind, like behind him. All right. There is no initiative. These spirits phase away and phase back around Caliban, grabbing onto him. You did this. You did this. What did you do? Be gone. We can help you. Move on. Please. You did this. You did this. Um, I'm gonna walk up to Caliban, go into giant form, and just look at, look at him and say, "What did you do? This determines whether we help you or not." I, I may have found a book amongst the fields. I'm sorry, it's very loud in here. In, That's kind of your in, fault. It is my fault. Tr try again. What book? I don't know. I've never seen it before. It it, it, it contained knowledge, <sighs> necromantic Kotar spells. What? Unlatches the the deadbolt and opens the door. <laughs> no. What are you doing? More spirits begin to file in. They pay no mind to you guys. They are just going straight for Caliban. You really should uh, hurry. It, it Tell us. Moment, yes. Yes, Nero. I... Uh, I'm gonna actually use a spell slot for it and cast Detect Magic and see if I can see the book in the room. The book is in the room. It glows of a purple oh, energy. I'm gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna do something real stupid, aren't I? <laughs> do it's it! It's a welcome back party. I, I, I have not gotten off my broom. I just would like to make that mm -hmm. a statement okay. that I say <laughs> while everyone mm -hmm. else figures out what they're doing before I do something stupid. Good to know. Okay, Nira, what would you like to do? 
Uh, well, if no one's stopping me, I'm Nira's gonna on the broom slowly go over towards the book. Uh-huh. No uh, one stops her. <laughs> yeah, I'm as you do that, distracted um, by all the picks up the book. As yeah. soon as you pick up the book, whoosh, you see a flash of yellow eyes behind your mind. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to fly dash out of this place. Um, Can I see if they follow me? Is there any way for me to, as a reaction, potentially thorn whip, basically do the the cheeseburger special? Yeah, I'll 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 give it to you. You 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 guys know each other well enough to know what she was about to do. And yeah, Mm -hmm. you can cheeseburger special onto that broom, and you both fly out through the door. The ghosts, the spirits, do not even phase. They don't. They do not follow you at all. What is everyone else doing? Um, I'm going to cast Detect Thoughts on Caliban and immediately go all the way. <laughs> okay, give me a... All uh, the way. What's the save on that? Uh, so a... Wisdom Saving Throw um, for Caliban. Uh, that's a save of D- a DC of 17. 17. So Caliban, go ahead and roll a Wisdom Saving Throw, DC 17. Oh no, I got a 25. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I was like, yeah, yeah, I can't wait that to... before I flew out of the room. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, using... it's silvery barbs. Silvery barbs, roll that again, Caliban. I saw what I you saw what I was you doing. You do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ah, uh, damn it, twenty-two. Wait, wait, <laughs> damn. No, no wait, 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 wait. Stop rolling better. <laughs> I didn't He's hear beyond. him say that. I didn't hear him say that. And as you're trying, as you're, as this is happening, <laughs> you are trying to focus on avoiding it, and all of a sudden. <laughs> A phantom version of Silva, who just entered your home for the first time, Whoa. starts to stumble over a chair and fall over. And it Whoa. distracts you for, I'm going to roll a d6, and you're going to subtract that from your roll. We did tell, talk to you about Silva before this, so it's really funny. You're going to subtract five from your roll. That's still the greatest. That's, I think that's oh, the that still needs it, beats it. That meets, yeah, yeah. Did I do a disadvantage? No. <laughs> We're so forcing this. It's How about so this? Forcing. Someone else what? do something. You can what choose the... to fail. Sir. Yeah, you could. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Just fail. Mm-hmm. Uh, Caliban, Please you start to feel secrets. Kotatar reaching into your mind. You can choose to fail if you want his help, if that's kind of what you're getting. Or you can choose to save. Yeah. Uh, and he'll, I, he'll, he'll just say. the truth. I know that just... he's in there. So yeah. I choose what he sees. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. Okay, cool. All right, and what does he see? You do see... He's getting his degree. <laughs> <laughs> him him, putting, him no. putting a medal over himself. Like, you know, him behind himself putting a medal. There's nobody else in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have. Thank you. He, like, tosses his own, like, 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 like flowers. Anyway. <laughs> Um, <laughs> his own mom crying. Uh, yes, you see me finding the book um, in a haystack while I'm using my thing, uh, my pitchfork. And mm. uh, you see it also has a, a purple glow and, and yellow eyes that sort of flash a second. And then um, I take it home and I read and, and there are spells in here that I've always wanted to see or always wanted to do, but I've never you know, been able to learn them. And I was like, yes. So in the basement, you see me, you know, making a summoning circle um, and basically summoning what I believe to be a powerful thing. And uh, except I, I can't see it. And I think I failed, at which point you hear my mother going, God, finish the fields. Yes, mother. And he le- leaves basically, with his pitchfork to finish what he was doing. Um, next thing you see, you see is him in the fields and he hears the screams of the villagers and leaves the pitchfork there as he runs to see what's happening. And I st- And then I talk. Mm-hmm. And that was the last time I saw my focus. Then we should return. With the book, and he'll like go out. He'll kind of like say that loud enough for anyone that's outside to hear. 
take it. Oh, it's already gone. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. It? Does it? Does it seem like I think I could dispel the magic I, from I, this book? I also have dispel magic. Could we team up dispel magic as well? Uh, sure. Um, what level are each of you gonna cast it at? Uh, or, or let me know, and then I'll, I'll, I have to do a save of some sort. No, we I'll have to do fifth. a roll. Yeah, oh, okay. I was just say I'll hit fifth. So whatever spell effect is, if it's a fifth level spell or lower, then it it's just ends. If not, we have to roll for it. Uh, though, before you do that, h- how far are we from that field with the pitchfork? You can see it in the distance. It's not too far. Uh, D- David, should we get the other piece first? Yeah, all right. Swing me by and I'll snatch it up. We start going oh. to that. We can dispel both. Okay. Uh, you guys fly something? off to the field <laughs> to try and find the focus, the pitchfork. Uh, Silva, uh, San Leon, what are you guys doing? Reginald? I've Silva? got my eye on Caliban. Just Okay. Quite- reactionary mode. I saw that the sword did nothing to the spirits, and um, I'm in that kind of odd, don't judge a book by its covered, because you know, certainly onto pale motherfucker as well. So, uh, <laughs> but at the same time, I'm... Pale I'm, togetherness! <laughs> I'm aware that, or, or at least he suspects that Caliban is, is ashamed of something and thus is not stating it. Um, so, he's going to say, Caliban... There's a lot of us that are ashamed of our actions from time to time. Ca- catastrophic actions in in course. And he just gestures outside until the spirit's literally clinging to him. It matters what we do now to fix such things. And to do so, we need to be honest with ourselves and those around us. So, Caliban, I ask you, and I don't ask you in a judging manner, I ask you so that we can fucking help you, what did you do so that we can undo it with you? Yes? Um, uh, Kodotar will interrupt and, uh, yeah. just, and word for word, like what Hope said, <laughs> just spill it. And then at the end, he'll just say, <laughs> thanks for letting me in. Uh, thank you. I have trouble sharing my feelings, so I like it when other people do it for me. <laughs> and typically, we are a lot more alike than we are apart. Bro. Worlds. No. No, sorry. I was. I was um, no. Call him bestie. It's funny. Oh, no. <laughs> Call him bestie. <laughs> Silva, what are you doing? Um, I am witnessing the chaos. Um, and kind of just looking around the room, I think, as this is all happening, um, and trying to see what story it tells me. Okay, give me a perception check or an investigation, whichever you'd like. Let's do investigation. Yeah. That's so bad. Um, oh, buddy. Moody. Uh, that is a nine. Nine. You don't notice much. This is an older person's home. It's got that feel to it of kind of older items and feel it is definitely not kept up it has you know it it's um i'll even give you with a nine you might see uh a blood trail leading out the door the front door there's mm-hmm. a front this, 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 this door yeah it's there? dried it's dried oh. oh i didn't see that earlier oh that didn't that was a perception check never mind keep going sorry that's not mine <laughs> That's not mine. Yeah. The knife isn't like, mine. It ain't my fault. <laughs> pointing at it. Whose is that? What? The the blood. Blood. <laughs> There's blood. Yeah, right here. Oh, oh, blood. Um, uh, I look at it. Where's it coming from? <laughs> it's coming from the basement up through the front door. 
Oh, that never ends well. You did this, you did this. And these spirits are now starting to really like almost dogpile onto you. And they're starting to press you down. Um, um, move on. I, I slash through them. No, full well, that's futile. He's, st- he's yeah, still- Yeah, you low. slash through them. They pay you no mind. They are only focused on Caliban. I bent down, down on my your back. Your back a break. <laughs> <laughs> I grab through the spirits uh, onto the scruff of Caliban, 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 um, Caliban's. Um, <laughs> wow, <laughs> you, went, you went down a trail, bro. Uh, robe or potentially whatever the fuck you're wearing. Um, okay. Uh, what are you robe, wearing? yes. Robe, Sorry. yes, robe. Uh, to try and pull him up. Um, All right, give me a strength check. Or mm. yeah, strength check. Can I assist? Sure. Uh, yeah, you can gra- grab grab too. I'm in giant form, so I should get bonus. Uh, okay. Yes. I have advantage. Uh, let's see. I need. I do. While it. you guys do that, uh, hang on to those rolls. Uh, David, Nira, you guys make it out to the the yeah. field. Uh, it is nighttime. It is quite hard to see, but you see that there are tons of hay haystacks in this field. They've all been kind of gathered up. There's this hay is in this pile and this pile. You probably see a good. 20 or so haystacks. Uh, Can you detect? If it's, yeah, it's been, it's still been thin 10 minutes. Uh, mm-hmm. Detect magic would still be up, so I'm just gonna like start flying no, around. Yeah, like a crazy, like there's no obvious way I'm going. I'm just like just spinning. You get a ping on a haystack, uh, probably about 30 feet away, right? As you get into that, that zone that your detect magic can pick up, you see it inside the haystack. You detect some magic coming from it. Uh, I'll yell and point that we're, I'm flying him. Uh, the vision that I got when I touched the book, was it the Nightmare King? Yes. Uh, as we're flying towards it, like, it's it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare book. You see it. You see the Nightmare King. It's bad. It's bad. I think we should, it's, we're in a dream. This is not a good place. You say this is nightmare fuel. To, to David. Uh, I, to David. I'm, yeah, I mean, no, I'm, I'm not quiet. Yeah, I we're not near you guys. It. Yeah. This yeah, is that, a dream! Yeah, that, this is a nightmare book! Can we hear that? <laughs> How far away are we? Uh, minimum 30 feet. But we've probably yeah. been flying a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are flying towards it. And as you're about to reach for it, <clears throat> something comes out of the ground. Oh, cool. A woman. She almost looks a little not quite right. Is. She's an older woman. She is a spirit. And she stands up in front of you and she doesn't say anything, but she holds up a hand and she's looking at you with daggers in her eyes. Caliban's mom? <laughs> so, as we're coming, David, <laughs> wish me luck. Uh, David's gonna say, we're here to help you. And as he says, help you, there's like, basically like splits off like just a couple of davids pop out like around him like <laughs> echoing that and i will cast charm monster okay monster. what monster. do i need to do uh <laughs> you need to just let it happen yeah remember it's a guess <laughs> or you wisdom 17 okay. your choice wisdom 17 all right oh that is a three yo good <laughs> Great. Um, I'm a friend of this. Is this creature undead? Uh, are spirits undead? I think they're just dead. No, I don't think so. (laughs) Yeah, I think they're just dead. Are they? I I don't see any restrictions, though. Oh. Uh, On what? On Charm Monster. I don't see any, like... If the creature's a ghost, it hates you. Yeah, it's (laughs) just it works on any creature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think... Yeah, cool, sweet. I think that that works. Um, so this this woman, she stops, and you just hear her say, "Help, my son!" And she starts to like, kind of shake violently as she's trying oh. to hold off, and she says, "Hurry, get the pitchfork, get." Can you get my to him son. and help him with those creatures, yes, those ma'am. other ghosts? Can you? Call off the other ghosts while we try. I have to 
stop you from getting the pitchfork. Mm -hmm. And you hear this loud roar encompass her. And just for a second, you see this like abomination kind of come out of her face as there's like this other creature inside of her. And she comes back and she's holding it. Oh. Would we oh, not have nice. had a chance that I could have sw swiped it? Do you have a reaction that you can use? Yes, and my broom also has a 50 foot fly speed. Okay. So I was hoping that as in that split second, she could have tried to fly yeah. to grab it. Yeah, uh, fly to grab the pitchfork? Yes. Okay, yeah, give me, um, give me like a, cause this is on your broom. Give me an, can you give me like an athletics or an acrobatics? To try to, I... you're gonna try to swing around this thing, and try to grab it off your broom as this thing is is being preoccupied with this charm that is I'll trying to fight. Um, could she maybe have advantage on the roll, considering that I did the charm monster and was like, "Let us help you." So maybe it hesitates <laughs> a little. Sure, sure. I'll, I'll do it. I'll give you an advantage. Oh, maybe. I'll take maybe. that. If you don't know, no, 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 maybe. maybe. 20's good. Oh, it was it was a dirty 20 and then a natural one. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Uh, yes. 20 to get you are able out. to sweep around and grab the pitchfork. What would you like to do now? Uh, uh I guess I never use my action. Um I think at this point I'm just going to message Kotatar. Nightmare book, nightmare book, nightmare book. Book is the nightmare fuel. It's a nightmare key, uh, you can touch it. I got both pieces. Understood. Uh, and he looks at Caliban. Hmm. We have some experience with this. What? You're Cali probably about. Banana. <laughs> You're probably about to confront something awful. Something that you've what? been. That's why I asked you earlier about dreams. Because right now, nightmares are manifesting into real life. That explains so much. This is my, I know. But, uh, this is my worst nightmare. He kind of like there's this like almost like a curl of a smile. He just nods and he just goes, "I know," and runs out the door. Okay, what oh. does everybody else in the house do? Thanks. How did okay. we go with our strength checks? Oh yeah, well, what did you get? Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Uh, I got a nineteen. Yeah, both of you are able to grab him and pull him out of the uh, the mess of spirits. Uh, what would you like to do, Calvin? You're free. Right as you're about to go here, um, you feel uh, an intensity about yourself, uh, and you're surrounded by this uh, arcane-like red energy as Kodakar has a hand out uh, as he runs out and casts haste on you. Let's move. Mm -hmm. Yes, you. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Kella ran now. Oh, <laughs> oh. Wow. Um, Kella okay. Sam. I, I cancel the haste immediately because I hate you all. <laughs> um, I didn't mention okay. my mother's name is Capri. No, oh, of course yes. it is. <laughs> I hate Capri Ben, here. Capri San. It's amazing. Um, um <laughs> Wait, but that means that it's Callie Ban's name is Callie Ban. I'm <laughs> Callie Ban. Is... Ban the Capri's. His name is Callie Ban. <laughs> <laughs> um Silva, what are you doing? Uh I I <laughs> honestly am not even sure. We'll destroy it. We'll destroy Danny. I'm so sorry, sorry Danny. Danny. <laughs> um Yes, I'm going to. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna cast something here, actually. Um. Can you reiterate the situation to me? Because I'm struggling. Yeah. Following so this right now. you still oh, have good. Reginald and San Leon are still there. Kotatar has run out with Caliban. There are ghost uh, spirits inside this room. A whole mess of them that have just now. Uh, released Caliban or, or the Caliban got away from them. Cool. 
cool, cool, cool. So this is what I wanted to do. I want to uh grab Caliban by the shoulder. And I'm going to put my hand out to the the the, the spirits and I'll say back off. And we're going to try to do something. This is pretty much up to you. But I'm going to cast Spirit Shroud, which uh, lets me call for spirits of the dead, which flit around you for April. the spell's duration. The spirits are intangible and invulnerable. I want to see if this can let me kind of tell them to, to just float around, kind of command them in a way. And just so have you're trying, move. instead of pulling your own spirit and your own energy, you're using your Spirit Shroud to guide those spirits to yeah. make a, a radius around Caliban. Yeah, almost I like I can imagine them, like, yeah. flavor-wise, spinning around us, almost like like they want to come grab Caliban, yeah. but they aren't yet. Um, okay. And in a way, it's almost like a protective, yeah, so. I love that, I love that. So yes, as you cast this spirit shroud around uh, you guys, uh, the spirits suddenly start to lift off the ground and start to spin and kind of rotate around Caliban as you guys are running. I don't know if uh, Silva's going, but uh, Caliban is running out to the field. Um, everyone else in the house, what are you guys doing? I'm going to basically bodyguard uh, Caliban um, uh, and try and kind of keep him moving uh, mm -hmm. out and, yeah, I away was, from spirits. I was going to do that, but since Sans doing that, I will... We can do it together. We can do bodyguard bites, if you wish. Bodyguard bites. I like that. Yeah. All right. We've got bodyguards. We've got spear shrouds. Everyone here seems to be protecting Caliban. You guys all run out to the field. Caliban... As you guys all arrive, you see Mira holding a pitchfork and a book on her broom. David attached with a thorn whip to the broom, uh, standing in front of this older woman's spirit who is fighting something within. What would you like to do? Shout, mother! It, she looks at you. Mommy. Leave my friends alone. And once again, she, she actually starts to reach out and um, you see this abomination of a hand almost reach past through her hand, reaching for you, Caliban. But then your mother <sighs> sucks it back in and she's like, no. I need the fork. So as she, we're swinging by... Use the fork. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> as we're swinging by, I'll be like... Caliban, this is your nightmare made manifest. You are kind of a big deal in necromancy, so you need to know. You need to be certain that you can fix this. Nira, give him the pitchfork. You throw uh -huh. it like this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it. <laughs> it's <laughs> not a problem. Calvin, you can catch it. You're muted, April. You're You're muted, muted, April. Uh, no <laughs> thoughts, just throw. David yeah. didn't give it to him, she gave it to him. <laughs> yep. That's um, outstanding. Caliban, as you grab your pitchfork, it glows an energy, uh, the shadowy energy that is your energy as you are reunited with your focus. What would you like to do? I cast Dimension Door. Oh. Okay. Um, tell me what that does in this situation. <laughs> How far away is my mom? About 30 feet. Ah. <sighs> She's pretty large right now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get, because of haste, I get two actions. Ooh. So my first action is Dimension Door. My second is to stab her from behind, because that's where I appeared, with this pitchfork. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I basically me... te teleported to behind her and boop. Okay, roll me uh, an attack roll with your your magic, uh, your, what's the word, ability, magic ability score? What's it called? I can't remember now. I'm not looking at a sheet. Spell attack? Yeah, spell, spell attack, attack bonus. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> 
Richard was like, what, I sort of know what Richard, you're Richard was surprised by this and then says to Sam Leon, well, so much for bodyguard buds. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's one way to deal with your parents. Hmm. I mean, I could have brought one of you with me, I guess. Um, <laughs> oh, where is it? Ah. Well, Reginald does have experience. Well, dimension door will still be there. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. I thought, I yeah. thought that was, uh, no, sorry, that's the gate spell. My bad. Yeah. If you're looking for it in D&D Beyond, if you click on spells, it's yeah, the, the, the numbers. Oh. No, I am, though. <gasps> you are? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If, you click on, if you click on spells, it'll have the modifier, your spell attack, and then the, your DC. It's I eventually the top of like, your... like, I know it's here. I've done this. And then, oh, there it is. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a plus five. So, roll it. Not rolling. And Boom. roll an advantage because you came from behind. They Ding. came from Giggity. behind. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll roll again. I oh, got, great. I got, I got you, April. <laughs> 24. You go. 24. Your pitchfork goes straight into her back. And as it does, she doesn't cry out. She releases. And what is stabbed straight through her coming out the other side is an abomination uh, demon. It's got, you know, like melting skin and extra limbs and it kind of crackles a little bit as it begins to form and grow larger now that is not trapped inside of his mother's body and it reaches out screaming this girling cry like cry uh, as it looks straight in front of uh, everybody and sees Nira everybody roll initiative yeah dun, 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 dun. Oopsie. You know, the time where I probably should have rolled well in initiative, I did not. Uh, <laughs> and I trade this with my other initiative. No, <laughs> I want to switch initiatives. I right, roll back um, in time. For 23. Okay, San Leon got a 23. <laughs> uh, Kotar, 21. 21, Kotatar. All right, who's uh, who's right under 21? Anybody? 16. 20. Oh. 20, 20 for Silva. Woo! Let's go, Silva! Uh, go. Anybody, anybody higher than Reginald is sixteen. Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, Fifteen or below. What do we got next? Thirteen. Eleven. Thirteen for Caliban, and David is eleven, oh, and uh, Nira. Nine. Nine. Okay. That's everybody. Let me just roll for this abomination. Can you uh, the nine so I can get away? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I would appreciate it. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Abyssal Abomination. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, plus three. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, San Leon, you're up. All right. Um, with uh, Torturian being roughly 30 feet away uh, from what we heard from the gate, mm -hmm. that is okay. My movement speed is higher than that. So. Um, I'm going to rage. Yay. Another one of those. Um, I'm just going to one of those. Um, seeing this demon appear and start just start to look at it, and he goes, "Oh no, you don't!" Um, as he starts uh, rushing um, at his his uh, his barbarian speed um, toward the creature, uh, sunblade out. He's going to go for a thrusting um, sort of like a you know charge strike. You know, so sword back, and as he gets close to the creature, he's going to try and slam into it. Uh, with a reckless attack, okay, because he is in range of Caliban, so he cannot use his um, uh, soloing out ability to get past. He has to use reckless. Okay, instead, so I'm going to take a swing with my sword. Um, yeah, that's not that's not how that works, but okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, okay, that's pretty good. And again, for good luck. That's way worse. Uh, 24 hit. hits. Hits. Okay, so that's. Um, uh, uh, I'll just roll it again, because that was before. No. I think it'll be a lot worse. But... Oh, it's exactly the same. Okay. Um, so that's 16, and then plus. That's pretty good. So 16 plus. Uh, 28 points of radiant damage. Woo! Let's go! Uh, with the sun blade, um, and uh, I don't know if it cries out. Does it cry out when pain? <laughs> uh, it just keeps making these really guttural noises that just 
uh, just are really unnerving. So you stab into it and it's almost like it doesn't notice, but you do notice that the radiant energy kind of rips a hole into it. Mm. Uh, and you said it was 28 points? Yeah, so cut up and then I'm just going to like rip upwards to kind of create an arc slash um, whilst Ooh. yelling at Caliban going, Sometimes we have to face our demons literally. Um, and yeah, that's it. All right, Kotatar, you're up. All right, cool. Um, second verse, seven is the first. Uh, planar warrior ability, familiar spectral force energy, and boom, uh, firing two arrows into it. And uh, Caliban, you kind of just hear this like whistling from behind you. And then um, first attack is a 17 to hit. Hits. Second attack, uh, 24 to hit. Hits. Great. Um, <laughs> that is going to be... Uh, terrible and then decent. Um, six. Yep, six. Um, is that right? Yep, six. Uh, that is right. So, uh, 11 points of force damage. Okay. And, uh, and 10 points of magical piercing. So, a total of 21 uh, points of damage. Um, so that's my attack action. Um, bonus action, and uh, he's just kind of strafing forward and around. Okay, very good. Uh, Silva, you're up. Yeah. Um, what's the, how far away am I from different? Everybody goes about 30 feet. Okay. Um, so I'll just throw two Eldritch Blasts then to something. Okay. That yeah! Hurts. Do it! Um, we're going to... Ooh. I want to get up within 10 feet. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna cat. We're gonna eldritch blast. Eldritch blast. Those are both uh, above twenty something. Okay, sounds like a hit. Um, and then yeah, that's like twenty seven, twenty eight, and then we're gonna do oh, the first blast. Who is that? That's four. <laughs> is that you? <laughs> You're hearing people. In the Did it sound like a child? I we hear like talking. He's talking right now. Oh, sorry. No, we're just letting you know. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so... Oh, wow, sorry. This is going to be a lot. Okay, so... Any attack you make deals 1d8 extra damage, but it, since it's a higher casting, it's 2d8 damage. Uh, so, this is going to be a lot of stuff. I apologize. So, the first Eldritch Blast is 9 plus 5, 14, and then the extra damage it does... Um. Oh... So 14 points of force, and then, and then 13 points of, let's do, did the radiant damage look like it did more? Yes. Yes, so we'll do radiant. Okay. Uh, and then the second Eldritch Blast does eight points of force, and... Shoes! 11 points Sheesh. of Radiant. Let's go. Ah, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm trying to math here. That's a lie. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry, so was it 11? Sorry, it was the first? Yes, 11 Radiant for yes. the second. Okay, and that was the first hit that you just said? 13, 20. I think I got it. Hang on. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, sounds my close. God. Oh my god, that was a lot. It was okay. a lot. Oh, shit. Is all I remember. Uh, and then uh, they can't regain hit points until the start of my next turn. And Ooh. if I, as long as I can see them and they start within 10 feet, their speed is reduced by 10 feet until oh. the start of my next turn as well. Okay. Amazing. Anything else? That's it. Woo! Oh, that's you a bow! Seeing... Oh, How that's much was that in total? Okay. A lot. Uh, that's in the a lot. almost 50, yeah? Like 40, yeah. 50 something. Uh, is that new? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a spell I cast. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa! Put it in the book. Um, Put it in the book, creature, Abraham. <laughs> this creature, you you There's strike more this about creature. You than Caliban. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, this creature no looks really hurt already. You guys are ridiculous. This is amazing. Um, okay, <laughs> Reginald, you're up. Seeing Silver just roast this thing. Um, how far, how close were you to the creatures, Silver? She's 10, ten feet. feet now. 10 yeah. feet. 
um, and, starting, and bit, being a bit worried about Silver being so close to the creature, Reginald's going to go and stand in front of Silver, um, attack the creature, and just say, Silver, that was incredible. I, th I feel like, along with Caliban, you are the key to this. And I'm going to get out my big sword and attack it lots of times. Okay. Caliban, you're on deck. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm dice. <laughs> Why are dice not doing anything? Hang on, one second. If it's D&D &D Beyond, it might be frozen. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> the boss. Uh, dice thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, okay, 26 to hit. Okay, hits. I'm going to do all these hits up front. 24 to hit. Yep. Action surge. <laughs> 19, to, 19 to hit. That hits. I don't have to go, that's cool. 11, okay, so ah, three, of them, 11, three of them miss. Yeah. Uh, 15. Now Kaiban can go. 15 again. 11, so 30, 40, 41 points of damage, and I think it is radiant damage. All right. 41 radiant damage. Did you roll for that? You have to, yes. you have to roll yes, whether it's, yes. okay. All right. Uh, you do 41 points of damage as you slice into this thing multiple times, just cutting out I won't get too graphic, but you're cutting out its guts, and it's just like this abyssal, this abomination of like a, like a just all of these limbs and eyes and and just goo, and it just uh, it screams out in pain. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Yeah, my last hit, I'll try to. Uh, I'm going to invoke my fire rune, which means it takes another two d six damage. All right. Uh, dice. Strength check. Right? Does it make a strength check on that? Uh, it takes nine fire damage automatically, and then okay. a DC 12 strength check to see if it be she's <laughs> restrained. A, a DC, a strength save? 12, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's... Oh, yeah, that's like a 26. <laughs> it passes, okay. Yep, that's fine. And for my bonus... Action. Oh my god. Fighters, y'all. Fighters, y'all. Fighters, gonna fight. Fighters, Tell me there's another one. Um, yeah, I'm right? just gonna, my eyes are gonna go. Yeah. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna <laughs> use my storm rune and go into a prophetic state. So, okay. that, that will be reactions. So. Okay. All right, Caliban, you're up. <laughs> Wait, is there still more? Oh, <laughs> Wait, yeah. there's five? All right. Um, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, here it goes. I basically look at it, slam uh, my pitchfork down and say, let there be light and cast Dawn. Ooh. Dawn. Yeah, it's like Moonbeam, but yeah. awesome. It was like, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> and I look at it, wait. Who cast Moonbeam? Was that was that Lee? It David. David. <laughs> yeah. David. Sorry, Dave. I look at David and, as I do it and just go and go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. uh, I love you, Lee. <laughs> Let's see. Going in the book. Uh, a thirty-foot radius, forty-foot high cylinder of bright light shines down. It, uh, wait, is anyone touching it? <laughs> Well, well yeah, someone just attacked. Right I just smacked the hair. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people right there within 10 yeah, feet. So, yeah, yeah, but you so, go do you, Caliban. <laughs> I, Ooh, put I, it I, on the I, other hey, side. Oh, look at that. Right. Rivalry. 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 I can versus aim mine. They're not. They're, not <laughs> they're all like in front of it, right? Yeah. They're up in its guts. Yeah. So well, I, you're I kinda, behind it. Just yeah, throwing that and out there. move. Okay. <laughs> With my haste. Let that be a <laughs> Let that be light. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I have haste, so I can double butt, my butt ass, ass out of there. And okay. yeah, you're welcome. I tried to get like 
the edge of it uh -huh. on it. So there's like a wall of sun in front of them. Um, let's see. When it appears, each creature in it must make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Yeah. Constitution? What's your save, DC? Uh, let's oh. see, that's an 18 plus con plus 5. That's a 23. Okay, that's good. Well, good thanks for room. Thanks for playing. Um, <laughs> it's just 4d10, so I'll roll that. Would it be half of that? You're correct. Okay. Silvery barbs, roll that again. There has, there has a situation. Yeah! Oh, also, ah. hold on. As it's uh, trying to save from it, <laughs> a clumsy genasi. <laughs> <laughs> Again? So you're gonna subtract. You're gonna subtract five from whatever you roll. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I have a plus. Uh, so that'll that'll negate. It's a con, right? Uh, yes. Con save. Uh, fifteen. Uh, Cal yeah. Con. That brings it down to seventeen. What was the save? Uh, thirteen. Oh, a 13? Oh, no! Wait, what? Wait, what? You said, Did you, you have 15? Oh, what? I thought no. you said 15. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird, because, like, <laughs> my save check? DC for Moonbeam is 17. Oh, like, crazy. Oh, crazy. crazy. No, no. Wow. That Moonbeam. It's that moon beam, though. Shade. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's so can large. We check, is that higher? Is it higher oh, than? <laughs> I think oh, numbers, man. math. Is anyone? I'm not. I mean, I'm not a math guy. So. All right. Like, so what's okay. half? What's half damage? <laughs> Let me double check. <laughs> has, it, has it dawned yeah. on you yet? Shut oh, up! Oh my god. Daniel. <laughs> uh, it was 29. <laughs> so half that. So I guess 14. Okay. 14. 14. All right. Anything radiant else damage? for your turn? Well, uh, no, I'm a little too far away. <laughs> Is it radiant damage? <laughs> yes, by the way, it's radiant damage. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. So 20. One. Uh -huh. Real quick, what does that look like? Because, like, it it was, like, really dark a second ago. Like, Not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Is it going down uh, for white levels, uh, like, as he appears? Like, oh. Are Sin and Reginald blinded by it? <laughs> oh, that's a great question. We all are now. Because it is um, sunlight, by the way. Yeah. Sick sun. The vampire right next to it going, Oh, God! We <laughs> sit down and dead. <laughs> um, this creature cries out uh, as it just is, is just lit up with sunlight. Um, and it immediately dashes forward. Well, not mechanically, but it's going to run <laughs> forward uh, out of that sunbeam and immediately start to take its attack. I need everybody here to make a DC 17 wisdom saving throw. Yay. Um, Me? Within, what's what's the the diameter? What is uh, the? 120 feet. Oh, yeah. Jesus okay. Christ. Okay, great. <laughs> so even me back there, yeah? I was yep. so close with my 80 feet away. <laughs> um, oh, you're kidding me. Oh, I had bad wisdom. I was like, oh, it's 60. Oh, it's 60. <laughs> I'm assuming it's not a charm or frightened effect. It is a frightened effect. It is a frightened effect. I get advantage. Is it um, magic? Great. Uh, it is it's a. It's an innate ability. I rolled well anyway. That's a natural twenty for a twenty-five. All right, you save. Uh, San Leon fails. Anyone who fails is now frightened for one minute. Remember how awesome uh, all my wisdom saves were earlier. Uh-huh. No. Are you frightened now, Caliban? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, for different thoughts, yeah. Well, I wear okay. robes and they're black. Mira, so you how'd you do? I'm frightened. Okay, Silva? I am also frightened. And Reginald. Frightened. All right, you guys are oh. all frightened. As it's going to run forward, it's going to reach down and bite down on Silva. Oh, shit. So that is... That is going to be a 30 to hit. You're getting weak. Holy yeah. shit. Right. 29. 29. Yeah. Uh, um, can I use my reaction still if I have frightened status? Uh, I, I just put what frightened I think you can. Yeah. It just, it just, yes. you just have disadvantage, on, disadvantage on it. And yeah. you can't get I'm going to use my reaction to make this thing roll again. Okay. 
that is going to be a 25. Uh -huh. <laughs> Holy shit. You're rolling so well tonight. <laughs> oh beats it by God. over 10. What? Why did, oh, you, uh, did you read the rest of it? <laughs> no, I just did damage. Um, Silva, oh. Oh, you take 31 points of bludgeoning damage. Ow. Oh, my Ow. God. Because I'm resistant. Oh, good. Make, that's oh. right. Oh, that's right. I forgot that. that that's rock that solid. Uh, but as it goes to bite, it's going <laughs> to then, uh, it's going to send Leon. It's going to oh. grasp. Uh, sorry, it's going to bite. No, sorry. It's going to grasp. Sorry. It's going to do one of them. Up. It's going to do one of them. It's going to grasp you. <laughs> it's going to grasp you for a 29. Good to God. The hit. Um, and then yes. it's going to do. 27 bludgeoning damage. Okay. And I'm going to uncanny you... dodge. That's okay, what does that do? That halves the damage. And then also, that is then halved, so I take quarter damage. Because you're raging. Yep. Okay, uh, I need you to make a DC 18 uh, something save. It doesn't say. Ah, it's something. Strength. It's to be not grappled, so I'm going to say it's what? A strength? Probably Dexterity? Strength. strength. Okay. You've okay. increased this stat block because we smacked it so hard, haven't you? <laughs> The DCs went up, the HP went up, no. But how much was it, sorry? Uh, oh, it 18. Know. I got a natural 20 for 27. Let's Woo! go! Yeah. Okay, yeah. you what are was it? Was not, what? 27 damage, how much damage was it? 20, 27, 27 damage, 27? yeah. So half 27 is um, 14. Uh, okay, um, but seven. it then uses its seven. other hand to- uh, oh. so Jesus. <laughs> Nira, where are you? <laughs> I'm not anywhere near you for this thing. I, I don't know. Yeah, we are like third. We're not close. To okay. We're, we're not we that were, close to it. Well, we were how tall is this thing? Because we, we went, we grabbed the book, and then I flew away from it. Yeah. It is a large fiend. So, um, so I 10 think feet. 30 feet. Reginald's 30 up on feet. it, though. All right, we're going to go for Reginald. Reginald, this is coming to you. Another swipe. Anything That's to save Nira. Sorry, David. Reg. Good job. That's a 20, 23 to hit. Jesus Christ. I say, yep. Okay. Uh, that's going to be... Oh! <coughs> 16 points of bludgeoning damage. That's and better. make me a strength better. saving throw. That's not so good. <laughs> For, oh, I think I have advantage because I'm still in giant form, actually. Ah, there you go. Yep, you uh, are. Um, Let's go. How did you get through the door? <laughs> I, I squeezed, I went down and squeezed. <laughs> uh, 21, 21. Noob. All right, you save. You are not grappled. Um, <laughs> doing like attack on Titans, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not your house, it's fine. Um, it cries out as it stops, getting closer to David and Nira, and it like just stares daggers at you. And that is going to be its turn. David, you're up. Followed by Nero. I get to go. So, uh, seeing that Nero looks frightened, uh, David's gonna swing on his vine and release to go forward. And as he's in the air, he's gonna reach back, and this like pool of light on his chest starts to tumble and grow until a hand is in his hand, and there's a glowing David, and he's gonna throw it at him. And I'm gonna cast Guiding Bowl. That's Let's as go! That David smacks into him. <laughs> the glowing David be like, 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 <laughs> like going to like. <laughs> yes. Roll. Stop. Okay. Is that a glowing? Oh no! That's an eleven to hit. Oh, there's that uh, David we, love, we know and love. <laughs> the only thing that. All right, and so for is me being David. Uh, wait, so wait. as he's somebody wait. cast silvery barbs and didn't give the advantage. That's true. That was me. I, I was that somebody, perfect. and I totally meant to give it to David this whole time. Yeah, I thought I yeah, it. duh. I, I muted before That's I said okay. It. I roll a two again. No, let's oh, oh, no. David. God damn it, <laughs> what job? Oh, whatever. Last things change. Oh, oh, consistency. I love All it. Right. Yeah, it, uh. it's true. Uh, David is doing a thing. Uh, okay, so we got more things. I got uh -huh. more things. Uh, all, as I'm continuing <laughs> to come down, the real reason David's here is he's going to reach out and a five foot three David 
<laughs> is gonna materialize in front of uh, who's all who's all within mm. five? Okay, I gotta just near it. No, no, I'm sending Back it, it towards the combatant. Say bye. Oh, bye. nobody's near it. Yeah. He's in the middle uh, between you and them that he just attacked. Right, but the ones he attacked are still there, right? They're behind him now. Okay, well, I'm going to put him there. Okay. Uh, healing spirit. That nice. Okay. okay. And Where is he going to go, buddy? And so, um... I love him so a much. A weirdly oh, <laughs> tall... Everyone loves you so much, Miles. A weirdly tall David beacons light and uh, everyone is going to heal and it's going to be third level. Okay. Holy shit. Everyone that got worked is going to heal. And now uh, we want them to spell work. It's Nine Miles. HP. <laughs> Okay. Anything else? Uh, I will land gracefully, I hope. Okay. Nira, you're up. Okay. I have but I have a question. Hey, yep. When uh Caliban Calamom turned into abomination. Yeah. Was it a transformation or a destruction of Caliban's mom? It was a separation. So now there is a a, a spirit of his mother. And this abomination. Okay, okay, okay. So this is not gonna work. My plan was not gonna work. I reverse everything <laughs> I was gonna do. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. That's fine. It's probably better this way. It's less horrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna look at the book, think about the Nightmare King, and in my head, say you're not gonna win and cast a spell magic at fifth level. Sure. Okay, so tell me, what do I need to do anything, or am I? Uh, so is it is the spell that happened on the book fifth level or higher, or high, or sixth or higher? If it's fifth or lower, it automatically dispels. If it's sixth yep. or above, I have to roll. Yep. Fifth or higher. Uh, it is higher than a fifth level spell. Okay. Yes. Okay, so the DC is going to be 10 plus the spell level. So I have to roll. Um, is, this, oh, wow. is this an ability check or a attack roll? It's an ability check, I think. Is this the top ability of the round? Check. Is this the top of the round? Uh, no, it's the bottom no. of the round. Ah, oh, damn it. I used but my action. <laughs> you did just remind me of something that I have disadvantage because we are frightened. Oh, but yes. This is an ability check. Now. It does have verbal and somatic components. So for my verbal component, I pull out my broken ass hurdy gurdy and start cranking oh. that bitch. And say, no one be afraid. We are all so brave. No one be afraid. We're all so brave. And that dispels frightened. Yes, it does. So, oh. It does. Oh my God. God. It came in handy. We are so brave. As, and that is as I cast a spell magic. That's, oh, that's too brave many Sir Robin! <laughs> <laughs> so, I did not dispel it. I only rolled a 10. Oh, bud! Anything? Do I add anything? Do I add my spell modifier? It's your, it's a, it's, it's your charisma modifier. My charisma modifier then oh. is a plus five, so then it's a 15. 15, so that would still be fifth level spells, so. Ah, so close. So close. Ah. Um, great turn, though. And I so have no not wheel to help you. Oh, no. Are. All right. Anything else, Nira? Bonus action. Yes. <sighs> okay. This also might. Oh, this might be stupid. This might be dumber. Do it. Let's go. Command? Every time you say that, you save the day. So. Command? It's true. Command, but I'm going to look at the book and say dispel. Okay. Command <gasps> dispel. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. If, okay. if it's a piece <laughs> of the Nightmare King, if it's a piece of him, and this is all fucking dream world, Nero okay, no, suggests You're going to give the Nightmare King works. PTSD at this point. Like, you're just going to be like, <laughs> oh, oh, God. Look at him. Magic. Dispel! All right, what's the save? What's the save? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, wisdom I got 17. goosebumps. Okay, hang on. I have to look up some stuff. Uh, okay, play, play nice, play nice. Uh, I have finished my turn, 
So somehow this book gets distracted by uh, Silva <laughs> falling on top of the book and rolling off. I rolled roll? a three on the die. Oh, oh shit! Fucking what? What? Again. What? what? Yeah. Nira does Nira, it again. Stop it! <laughs> Nira destroys all the guys. Oh, I fucking cannot handle this fucking Just game. Fall! <laughs> <laughs> You scream out those words, and the book explodes, and the abomination goes, explodes as well, and everything goes explodes. quiet. <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything explodes. explodes. And then the world ends. <laughs> You've dispelled the world. It only had a couple of us <laughs> left, but that yeah, was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. It was, it was amazing. Okay. Uh, it's quiet. You're out uh, of initiative. What would you like to do? Kodra just says under under his breath. She really wouldn't make a great Kasserai. <laughs> I am over by my mother's spirit. <laughs> Everybody that is in this in the uh, area that I had the healing spirit, just give yourself an additional um, fifteen hit points. Uh, Kotar walks over to Caliban. I don't want to interrupt anything, but it's going to be a little awkward in about 45 seconds when you can't move for about six of those. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Haste hey, has a kind of a side effect. Just so uh -huh. you know. Kids, don't do haste. <laughs> that How long will that or last? Or at least haste responsibly. <laughs> haste responsibly. <laughs> To be fair, actually, always have someone just, to drive your horse carriage. Why don't you just let's just make it less awkward? Hold on one second. And he kills concentration on on haste, uh, and you uh. your body seizes up for about six awkward seconds, and then and you're fine. Uh. See, there you go. Do what oh. you need to do. Oh, uh, worth it. Oh, and also now you're welcome. Thank you. The spirits around you that have been spirit shrouding you, which uh, I kind of forgot about, but they're there. They <laughs> are slowing down and they all place their feet on the ground surrounding you in silence as you look at your mother. I'm sorry. She says nothing, but she smiles at you and nods. I reach into the spirit and uh, make a fist and draw her into the fist. Sounds dirty, but I look right at April. <laughs> are you, are you, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the I'm essence of, of the mind. spirit is Oh, like, you're pulling her essence. Spirit. Yeah. Her as you yes. as you do that the purple energy that was on all of these spirits begins to dissipate and they all almost form a small line as you do this and they all seem to be sucked in as your mother is uh absorbed the rest seem to follow and mm. they are gone I open my hand and I have a, uh, I guess it would be like a black diamond. And I turn to you all and say, thank you. I still have that tea. That was a hell of a fight. You hear in the distance <laughs> as we walk. <laughs> Yes, yes, the water's still going on. <laughs> 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 and I, this is for you. Whoever's nearest me, I don't know. I was probably Katata. Yeah. Take this. Hey, what did you call him? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> say that again. Katata. <laughs> it's like uh, it's okay. yeah, it's like yeah, it's like non bread. <laughs> like non bread. Um, we are not even, for I owe you a greater debt. But know that 
for what you have done. We are allies. I will always be your ally. And I will be there when you call with this. And he like takes it from you and like produces the blue one that he has. Oh. Mm -hmm. Apparently you won't be alone in that. Your mentioning of nightmares, the Nightmare King? It's not. That, that's, that's who you saw when you picked up the book. I've A heard sort of deity, yes. I see, yes. Do not use that gem too soon. I need to look into something. But when you call, I should have um, reinforcements. I don't want to oh, say yes. reinforcements. Reinforcements from the necromancer. Look, I will just say one thing. Only one. The Nightmare King has been specifically targeting those that have um, more darker abilities to ensnare in his web, if you will, looking toward the woods from where the spiritual spiders were and looking nice. back. Be wary, he will try it again. We are, I suppose, on the edge, the line between good and evil. A precipice. One side being the spiral that is the abyss, and the other being the multiple tethers we should have to a lighter side, yes? Well, luckily, you have all reminded me of what is good in life. I think my tethers are stronger now. Good. Indeed. And you mentioned being even. Um, I don't think this situation calls for things like we're even or balanced. This is, our, this is our responsibility. This is our raison d'etre to stop the Nightmare King. Mm. So we expect nothing in return. But well, that's too bad, because you will get it more than nothing. We, reinforcements, on the other hand, mm. would be most welcome. Um, Caliban, you just see behind Reginald, Kotar just go, <laughs> just like eye roll <laughs> and shake his head. We're making the same face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, and, we do and... take payment. <laughs> My eyes dart to them for a second, and then back. But do we have your Calibond then? I don't know. <laughs> mm, you are unusual. Takes one to know one, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Dave bro. is just staring at a taller ah, version of bro. David <laughs> as it disappears, confused. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. Nod. Mm. Mm -hmm. Silver. <laughs> First of all, you're uh, okay. Um, are you are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? I'm trying to work on being polite. Oh, cool. Well, good job. You did it. I don't like it. <laughs> well, then stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> he just looks at like you puzzled. I've heard for a while. Good talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just real he's the he's the he's, he's, he's like the, the the calculus meme. Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> the sun begins to rise. And a warm glow takes over the entire farmland. As the sun's cascades down, starts to go on. Sounds like a... oh, oh god! I I'm just kidding. Prince did you take Brody Flesh? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does that a lot. And that and is where we will up. end. <laughs> and 
Yeah. You all yeah. level up. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> My correct level, actually. So I don't know. <laughs> Uh, you're not bitter, are you? No. I'm not Jacob bitter. Jacob pushes all. his glasses up as he says yeah. that. Oh, hmm. you guys are new to level 10? <laughs> 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 uh, Great job, no, everybody. Stand. Come, 10 is a big one. I get counterspell now. 11 <gasps> is where I want to oh, go. Oh, God. So oh, no. Do we Good even job, need to the spell? Great job. So. Good luck with that reaction management. <laughs> Dude, Colin, you're <laughs> amazing. Thank you, Coleman. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Don't go That's anywhere, so Coleman. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, thank you, everybody who ever. watched with us. Uh, we really appreciate Ooh. it. Thank you, everyone who watches live on Twitch, everyone who watches our YouTube channel, and everyone who listens to our podcast. We appreciate <laughs> you being with us on this journey. Um, join us again next week as we continue to Myth Drenor. Oh boy. oh boy! Oh, there's some tens. Very cool. <laughs> Bye. Wunderbar. <laughs> <laughs>